In our school district, voters elect school board members to represent the interests of all the citizens and of all the students. The school board supervises and evaluates one employee, the superintendent. Working in consultation with the school board, the superintendent is the chief administrator who oversees all operations of the school district. So what does the school board do? Like in many school districts around the nation, our school board has adopted policy governance as its model of operation. This means the school board approves policies that provide general principles for guiding the management of the school district. The superintendent and administration develop procedures that specifically support the school board's policy and make recommendations for the board's consideration. Policy governance school boards will exchange ideas and debate issues. However, after a vote is taken, all members have a responsibility to speak with a single voice, regardless of their individual views. This unified position gives sound and clear direction to those in management and to staff who will implement the decision. Parents and staff will often pressure the board to engage in management to affect the things they are passionate about. But policy governance school boards define what they are providing, to whom, why, and at what cost, but not how. That's up to the superintendent and administration. It's the board's role to interpret the needs of the community, and members often receive feedback and suggestions on all sides of issues. But when school boards like ours consider all public viewpoints and practice policy governance, they are fulfilling their key purpose to serve as a united, though not always unanimous, governing body.